Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, today is Tuesday, January 30th, and I am filming my video for tomorrow. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this done today. I, um, I am in January funk right now, and um, you guys know I've been doing two videos a week pretty much since last May. Uh, along with all of December, I did everyday vlogmas and I told my husband this week I said I don't know if I'm gonna get a video out this week even one and I have been running around today like a crazy person I've been grooming rabbits um, and trying to get some fiber out in the mail and of course I I have fiber on my website all the time and that's not a problem I I have plenty of rabbits for fiber um, but it's funny I just finished a huge skein of white um, Angora on Friday and I I spun every white piece of Angora that I had on hand and I had a bunch of it this is probably I'm guessing it's probably 200 yards yards of um, yarn and of course during the night last night I got an order for white Angora so um, I groomed some rabbits today and got plenty, um, and so that wasn't a problem, but um, that's what I've been doing today. We are um, in the middle of heading into, I think, a big warm-up here. We're kind of tiptoeing mud season right now, which for us in Michigan, we often have a January thaw, um, but I think this one's going to be a big one. Um, we have really warm weather coming up for the next couple weeks at least is what it's looking like. Um, and mud season is never fun, even in April. So I am hoping, um, I'm hoping we don't warm up too much because I don't want to deal with the mud yet. But um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing today is grooming and um, the weather's kind of dreary and, and so... Um, I am. I do have a couple ideas for videos. I was kind of running out of ideas too at the beginning of this week. Um, that was one of my other conundrums was I don't know what I'm going to film on this week. So I've come up with actually three videos. So I'm, I'll have enough for next week too. Um, I had one of my colony rabbits um, in. For those of you who don't know, I have two French Angoras out on colony. And which means they're living outside. Um, they have a hutch out there and they're on the ground. Uh, and I had one of them in today and she just looks really good. Um, she had some beautiful fiber and it's snowy out. Um, I do have straw down. If you guys follow me at all, you'll see lots of um, reels and videos with that. And so I do have places where they can stay dry and um, but she looked really good. So I'm going to do a video on my colony rabbits because they both really actually look good. And, um, I just purchased, um, I've talked about the omelet, uh, hutches for rabbits. Um, I have a rabbit hutch from omelet and I also have a chicken, um, cube, I think is what they call it. It's like a chicken, um, hutch or little coop for the chickens. Um, I have both of those. They had a big sale this last week and I went ahead and ordered a second um, rabbit hutch that is going to go in with the two girls. Their area is big enough and I have two other French Angoras um, sisters that are living together right now in our barn and so I'm going to move them out there. I'm debating on, we'll see what the weather does, but we'll talk about that more too. So, um, today's video is kind of piggybacking on, um, I did a wet felting Angora video two weeks ago, I think it was. And so I wanted to just jump on real quick. This probably isn't going to be a real long video. Um, I'm actually probably going to end up, we'll see how it goes. I was going to say I might end up speeding up the, um, what I'm doing, um, but I'm going to show you, and actually, I'm going to have to pause this video because I forgot to grab some fiber. Um, so let me pause this real quick. I'm going to need the fiber in order to felt, and then I'll show you what I have here. Okay, I'm back. Um, most important thing, and I forgot it. So I am going to show you um, 
the kit that I have, I just have some clipped um, white angora. This is clipped off my English angoras from this morning. And so the staple length on this, and it really doesn't matter when you're felting. That's the beauty of felting is you can use any of it. Um, it has a nice staple length, um, but you could use, I talked, can't remember if it was a video or a reel the other day. I talked about when you have, and maybe it was a comment on, um, on an Angora site that I was talking and said that, you know, things like clipped fiber that maybe the seconds that have a little bit of length to them, you can even collect that and felt with them. Um, that would be a great way to use those up. So don't throw those away. So the kit I have is just this. Um, it's a basic um, wool felt toolkit. I got this off Amazon. I will link it down below. Um, and I was, I haven't done a ton of felting um, at all. Uh, I have done more wet, wet felting than I have done um, needle felting. I was trying to work on pom-poms and I still haven't quite gotten what I want. Um, so that's why I got the needle felting kit. I thought that might be something um, that would work well for um, making pom-poms. And again, I'm still, still trying to work on that. Um, but this little kit comes with everything you need and the tool, the two tools that mainly I use are um, these two. And I thought a good way to do this, I am gonna turn you down here in just a second. This kit also comes with different needles um, to felt with, it comes with multiple needles. It comes with a pair of scissors, some um, pins and things like that. Um, Sorry, I wanted to finish that. Um, and comes with instructions on how to do it. Needle felting is essentially just um, stabbing the fibers into place where you want them. And I have talked. I talked about this in my other video with wet felting. Needle felters as artisans are the most amazing um, artisans there are. Uh, if you've seen, and if you haven't seen any of the work that some of these needle felters do, you should go look. The people that make animals with um, felting, and you would think it was a real cat or dog or whatever they made, they do amazing work. And so I am keeping it very basic here today because I don't even think I could do, I know I couldn't do that. Um, I, I don't have that skill. But I'm gonna make this really easy. So what I have are a couple of um, cookie cutters. And this makes it really easy. And with Valentine's Day coming up, I thought this would be a fun project to try. Um, this would be great for kids. Just be real careful. The needles are really, really sharp. They also come with finger protectors, um, which I will probably use. You just slide them on. Because if you stab yourself with one of these, they are they're super, super sharp. Um, and the kit comes with this foam thing in the bottom of the case. So I'm just gonna use this cookie cutter today. I'm gonna put some fiber inside here and show you how to do this. Um, so let me, I'm gonna pause you again so I don't rattle you and then I'm gonna shift you down and just show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my small um, cookie cutter in here and I am just going to take I'm going to start out with a little bit of this fiber and essentially this is where I want my finger protectors on too um, I am just going to you're just stabbing the fiber into place um, and by using the cookie cutter you can make it the shape you want, and essentially the needles are felting the fiber for you. See how quickly that is? Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker, and I wanna make sure I get all of the edges. So that's where I'm gonna take the little one here. Actually, let me get this in here first. 
and the cookie cutter make a stick. Really easy to get a nice shape. Make sure I'm not losing you on the camera. Now, you're thinking, okay, what are you going to do with this once you get it done? Um, and actually, I tried to find, I had some pink Angora, and um, I couldn't find it. So, dyed Angora would be great for this, but what I would do with this, and I'm going to take the little one now, and I'm going to get some of these edges to make it more defined along the perimeter of this heart. Um, what I would do with this is I would put this on a piece of clothing. I would put this on a hat, maybe. Um, this would even work on, oops, I pushed that in too far. Um, it would work on like a, a knit hat, or if you had like a store-bought stocking cap that you wanted to make a little bit fancier, you could um, sew this on to that. And it really doesn't take long um, to get this done. You just wanna make sure that it's all felted together. And actually it probably needs just a little bit more. But can you see that? And then you peel it up here. And it needs a little bit more felting. Um, so I'm going to put this back down. But that's all it is. It's just, it's so quick and easy. Again, this would make a great project for probably not younger kids. Um, I would be hesitant to let a five-year-old do this, although... You know what, there are some five-year-olds that probably be better at this than I am. But, um, and you can get this more defined around these edges, like I said, with, um, that's actually what, these are different gauges that come in this kit. Um, so there are some that are really fine. I don't know if I have a, yep, I have a larger one. I don't quite need it so teeny tiny, but that's a great way to get along this edge to get the heart shape. And then to make the little um, dip here where the heart just follow the edging. Isn't that adorable? And I would probably, depending on what you're going to do with this, um, I might spend a little bit more time with the needle part of it, but that's really all it is, um, is just taking a cookie cutter, any shape would work, and doing it until you have felted the little shape. And then these would be perfect, like I said, they would be great on um, maybe even a sweater. You could sew this onto a sweater, you could sew this onto, um, oh goodness, you could do a ton of things with these. These would make great jewelry pieces too, I think, probably not this big. Although you could do a necklace um, or something. And again, I would felt this a little bit more than what I did here but you guys get the idea I think and that is and it took me I didn't even I wasn't quite sure how long this would take to to needle felt it didn't take me that long just not even probably two minutes to needle felt it um, so this is a great project uh, and I'm sure you guys could come up with all kinds of other ideas of what to do with this um, that's just one of them and again I'll try to remember to link this kit down below um, I'm pretty certain you can get these kits at um, Hobby Lobby or Michael's, places like that. I feel like they have needle felting kits there. Um, and, at, I, and there are, I will never do a 
three-dimensional needle felted animal or anything like that because I just I wouldn't even know where to begin but I'm sure there's lots of other youtubers here that um, do those so it's as simple as getting a cookie cutter and some some of your angora and it doesn't take much to make these um, I could see it I think it would be really pretty with like a um, sewn on edge on a hat where you use um, like embroidery thread a different color maybe pink or something like that and um, sew it right onto the hat you can actually um, so I have the styrofoam heads that I display my my hats and things on you could actually take one of those styrofoam heads and use it for this and you could needle felt um, this right to a hat so if you had a hat that you knit and you wanted to put some angora on it I would get one of those styrofoam um, mannequin heads um, I'm sure you guys have seen them in my video because I display my my hats on them and just take this and do the same exact thing just put this up against it and start needle felting and that would save the sewing part of it um, you wouldn't even have to sew it on you're gonna needle felt it directly to your hat so um, that's it for today guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video again this one will go up um, tomorrow I probably am gonna add on to this video because tomorrow is the end of my and I'm gonna jump on Instagram as soon as I get off here to remind everybody I had um, my drawing this month of January for the um, mug the bag and a couple of um, note cards with Angora's on them I am doing the drawing tomorrow and so I will probably do um, I'm gonna do it through Instagram I'll do a video but I'll also probably add it on here so if any of you were part of that you can see if you want or not um, again I'm not commenting on people's comments to announce the winner I was gonna do something different because that's where all the scams are coming from right now so that's tomorrow so stay tuned um, my Sunday video um, is either going to be my colony rabbits or we're going to talk about drop spindling Angora. Um, I have been cleaning. You guys know I switched my office from my little closet space in my bedroom down to a spare room down in our basement. And I happened to find my very first, um, it's not even a scarf, it's a piece of crocheted fabric that was my first drop spindle Angora ever and so I found that and I thought it would be a good time to um, talk about drop spindling Angora again so that's what I'm planning the next two videos on um, so I hope this video finds you well I hope you guys are um, creating something every day and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for stopping by